Ingram kicks to Chandler. Shot clock at five. Floats it up for AI. Thank you. An emphatic LU jam. Yeah, there's no excuse right there for not covering one of the guys on the floor. Outside for Caldwell Good. Pope. Good. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the pass to Stevenson. From deep three-point range, they get it back. Yeah. Here's AI. And AI throws it down. And what a gutty play. I mean, muscles his way to the rebound and then just pounds it home for the putback. Well, And stolen by AI. <laughs> and here's the fast break. Here's Caldwell Pope. Nice. He is flushed down with a nice jam. This right doesn't in. seem to be his night or his team's for that matter either. And they got to pull it together here quick or it's going to be lights doing? out. And okay. that one's good by Stevenson. Okay. How about the pass going right now offensively? Back to Ingram. Beyond the arc. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Okay. Rondo's okay. got six assists. He feeds it to LeBron. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. And here's Kuzma. He has five. Rondo's shot is good. Better okay. outside when he gets into a rhythm or okay. when he gets his feet set. <laughs> the 2K Sports pregame show. Good evening, sports fans. This is 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith. And our coverage tonight will be coming to you from Sacramento, where the Kings will be going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. And for Los Angeles, with a record of 3-7 and seven over their last 10 games, they have been struggling. Wins hard to come by. We'll see if they can grab one tonight. I know, man. One of the players we'll see tonight, Brandon Ingram, second overall pick in 16 has drawn some comparisons to Kevin Durant, but Kenny, he's still got a ways to go. Yeah, we know it could take a while, but he's, he's going in the right direction. I mean, he's a little undersized in terms of uh, weight, but his ability... That's an interesting way to put it. Yeah, he's yeah. skinny. Okay, he's a little skinny. Thank you, Ernie. Uh, his, his shooting efficiency is a work in progress, but he has the length to impact all areas of the game. That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thanks like, for joining us, everybody. I don't like the word skinny. Slender. There he is. Those guys, man. I love them. I love them. I mean, we got this, man. We got this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. We got this. We got this, man. Best of luck tonight, bro. Thanks. Easy win, man. We got this, man. Easy win. Got it. It's a Western Conference matchup as the Los Angeles Lakers come into town in this game. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. And let's go. Well, guys, we know it's been a journey to the NBA for AI now. He says he owes a lot to the players and the coaches from the Mad Ants. And one player in particular, Paul Tatum, the former forward from the Bulls and Heat, showed AI what it meant to be a pro, how to have the right approach. AI said he feels he owes Tatum more than anybody else. Guys? Great reporting as always, David. AI really credits Tatum for his development. Yep. Yeah, and you know, I remember Tatum when he was in the league, a very smart player, and it's nice to see he is guiding others finding their way in the league. Evident in this one, Brent, the youth movement in full effect. What advice would you have for inexperienced players who have to take on bigger roles? The thing I always talk to younger players about, Kevin, is always accentuate the positives. Do what you do best and show that off as consistently as possible. And then take the summers to improve your weaknesses. Players always improve the most during their off. Bielitsa, he checks in for Bagley. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. AI has checked in for JaVale McGee. 
So the Lakers five right now. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Harris is out there with Ball, and it's AI in at the five. Back to LeBron, five to shoot. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Out of bounds, Sacramento takes possession. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. Look at the Kings. So far, they've got the fourth best record in the conference. And of course, there's Los Angeles. Not in the same realm right now in terms of their record. And you know, for the Lakers, if nobody was calling on them to kind of set the world on fire. But but even those modest expectations have yet to be realized. Yep, any glimmers of hope that may have been there early for them have all just disappeared at this I point. Like it's looking more and more like a wow. season that will not end well for this team. Collie Stein passes to Barnes. Shoots over Kuzma. And it's off the back rim, no good. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Kuzma, that's good. What vision by LeBron, always willing to give up the ball. They're just hitting a wide open teammate. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And with the chance, let's take a look now at the numbers for AI. First in shooting percentage, and he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And you're right. He's been the pinnacle of scoring efficiency. Never seems to take a bad shot. That's why he's tops in field goal percentage. Kuzma kicks to Harris. Tries it from the top of the key. It's rebounded by Farrell. The Kings trail by six. Has to call me Stein. No, I'm right there, man. Great T that time from AI. Yeah. It looked like he wanted no part of that. Superb defense there, really making it tough on shoot the ball, Passes man. It to ball. Uh, AI right side. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Here's Farrell. He had 13 points in the win against Minnesota. Barnes outside. And once again off the mark by Sacramento. Look at the last game for Sacramento. It was a win against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here's Ball. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, impressed with the work ethic of Ball. You can see a desire to want to be great. And he's going to continue to work on improving wow. those weaknesses. Wow. And some changes here for the Kings. Oh, Harry man. Giles is checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Bogdanovich comes in for Barnes. And Alec Burks subbed in for Buddy Heal. And then for Los Angeles, Ingram comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope in for Harris. And Belyita has it in the corner. Oh God, Just no. three to shoot. No. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Violet has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Ball with it. And uh, right now, he's averaging about seven points a game. Floats it up for AI. And stolen by Bogdanovich. My fault. My fault. Farrell for three. The shot misses. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. This game against Sacramento is the first time they've met this mm -hmm. year. And two teams here that were evenly matched a season ago as they split the season series. And the pass to Giles. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. What? That's his first foul. Ajan Rondo is checked wow. in for Lonzo Ball. Hey. Giles, the pass to Bialitz. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And that's about as easy as it gets. Not many guys are going to blow wide open layups at the professional level like that. Here's James. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Give the ball, man. Well, just look at the list of career accomplishments by LBJ. To me, the best small forward that's ever played this game and on the short list of the best player to ever lace him up.
Brent, with LeBron being one of the all-time greats, he is certainly the greatest player of this generation, wouldn't you say? Uh, absolutely. Ever since he came into the league, I mean, there's just been, in my opinion, no missteps whatsoever. Has handled himself mm -hmm. on the floor with uh, an incredible determination to prove that, Kevin. All the hype, all the anticipation, uh, he's lived up to it about tenfold. Ingram outside. Now here's LeBron. 20 points for him last game against Minnesota. And guys, the other thing that he did well was just facilitate nice. the offense, pass the ball around beautifully in that one, seriously put on a passing clinic. When a guy is capable of so many things like that on the offensive end, anytime you lose sight of him, he's got a huge advantage. And Bialitz kicks to Farrell. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Goodness from three-point range. Trying to improve every year. That's the goal of anyone in the NBA. Bogdanovich has great fundamentals to be able to do that. Pass to Farrell. And Rondo sends it back. An average shot blocker. The key for Rondo is to know when to leap up for those rejections, that time using length. And the Lakers making a change here. Chandler's checked in. <sighs> the Kings trail by four. Pass to Burks. Farrell looking around. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Right wing. This one for three. Bielitsa with the bucket. Bielitsa's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Sacramento. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And the Lakers with another turnover here. Let's bring out the 2K leaderboard to see the best up-tempo teams in the league. The Lakers second. I think that's what really distinguishes wow. them offensively. They really like to get out in transition. Farrell passes to Burks. Over Caldwell Pope. Burks can't get it to go. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Moment here now for an injury report. Let's check in with David Aldridge for an injury update on JaVale McGee. He told me that he's having back spasms. They're giving him some painkillers as well as some ice. And if he were to be out with an injury now, it would really hurt this team, Kevin, because they count on him to do so many things. Appreciate that, D.A. Well, it's never easy for a player to go through what he's experiencing, Greg, right now. But it is something that happens to almost every player. He's strong enough mentally to get through it. This we know. And sometimes off the court, you work harder than you do preparing for a regular game. He'll get himself ready to go before when he gets back on the court. Ingram kicks to Chandler. Shot clock at five. Floats it up for AI. Thank you. An emphatic LU jam. Yeah, there's no excuse right there for not covering one of the guys on the floor. And that's Rondo around the rim where he can score. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Havoc. Passes it to Giles. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And already you're seeing great execution from both teams. Yeah, lots of points early. And the game plans on both sides, at least offensively, working to perfection. That one falls. And the Lakers lead by three. Got to see Ingram get going down low. Just another dimension of his game that he continues to develop. Farrell passes to Bogdanovich. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And Come here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Los Angeles. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. And, you know, it wasn't just that they got stops. It was the way hey, they you. got stops. Thank rejection you. after rejection. Yeah, after a while, it just felt like they were demoralizing the opponent. It affected them mentally, and they took advantage. Here's Farrell. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Here's Bogdanovich. 
and, and really Ingram is as complete a player as they come. Not only awesome on offense, but just spectacular on D as well. And we'll be right back after this. Yeah, we need again, dog. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it in the clutch, no matter what's going on throughout the course of a game. Uh, even when you're struggling at times and you're not shooting the bar particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late game situations. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? And boy, I tell you, it didn't take them long to find their rhythm. Strong Not offense cool. through one. A nice game plan coming in Not and right cool. now sticking to it. It's a nice lead that they have. Bagley and Giles, both former Blue Devils, are the four and the five. Farrell is out there with Alec Burks. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Ah. Sacramento's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's his first foul. And stolen by AI. <laughs> and here's the fast break. Here's Caldwell Pope. Nice. And he is flushed down with a nice jam. And the long strides of KCP. Dangerous changing ends there. And he loves to finish in space. Well, the Kings are certainly in full rebuild mode, adding to this roster with a bunch of young talent. Last season, the bottom three team in both offense and defense and a bottom four in rebounding. So plenty of room to make strides this year. And the Kings looking to develop their young players. Coach Yeager with a deep rotation. Well, last season, it was interesting. If you look at the minutes totals, there was no player that played more than 28 minutes a game. So multitude of players getting tons of opportunities and they added some veterans in the locker room to try to help those guys along and provide some mentorship. Here's Rondo outside for Caldwell Good. Pope. Good. Down to five on the shot clock and there's the pass to Stevenson. From deep three-point range, they get it back. Whoa. Here's AI and AI throws it down. And what a gutty Play. I mean, muscles his way to the rebound see, and just pounds it home for the putback. Well said, G.A. The battle on the boards, Clark, could go a long way toward deciding this game. Well, especially when the game is this close, you recognize with your instincts the opportunity to help your team out. Just never flinched. Nobody near Stevenson. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. <laughs> Rondo's got three assists now in this one. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Farrell kicks to Bogdanovich. Nailed from three-point land. Bogdanovich has got five points now this quarter. How about that touch, Bogdanovich? That time from way out. Got a piece of it. Chandler finds Rondo. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. AI. Where? Where? Rondo passes to AI. Kicks it out to Stevenson. Back to AI, oh and stolen by Bogdanovich. Now the dish to Burks. Pass to Bagley. Fades against the middle. Yeah, and Bagley has a, the reputation for showing variety. Can score in a different way on each possession. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, the Kings signed some quality vets last season, but when the losses piled up, they decided to go young. Now, the focus is on development. The veterans still have a role, providing steadying presence on the court and in the locker room. Kevin? David, it certainly is a balancing act. Thanks for that report. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. That yes. misses. Oh, had a chance to tie it there. 
Uh, this just right doesn't in. seem to be his night or his team's for that matter either. And they got to pull it together here quick or it's going to be lights doing? out. And okay. that one's good by Stevenson. Okay. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Farrell kicks to Burks. Back to Farrell. Fires from deep. It will not yes. find the hoop. It's his third miss. Hey, he has made two. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. Stevenson outside. Back to Ronda. Well time nice. passed, nice. and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Give well, we've seen that hey, movie man. a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. The Kings trail by eight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Like so the Kings call timeout. They're first. Brent, we're already starting to hear some trade rumors out there. Is it ever too early to start making changes? If you talk to any good GM, it's, it's never too early right. to start thinking about how can I make this... 141 left to play here in the second quarter. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. Back to Ingram. Beyond the arc. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Okay. Rondo's okay. got six assists in the game. And here's Farrell. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Seven-point differential. Kicks it to Barnes. Over LeBron and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, easy call. For Sacramento, they have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. Burks, he's checked in for Sacramento. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Caldwell Pope's checked in. Now here's Rondo. He's covered closely. He feeds it to LeBron. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. LeBron's got four points now in the quarter. Farrell passes to Burks. 43 seconds left here in the second. Barnes against LeBron. Six on the shot clock. Over LeBron. Shot is good in the Los oh, Angeles God. leads. Cut down to six in the bucket from Barnes. And here's Rondo. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. 24 seconds left now here in the second. James dishes to AI. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul. It goes against Sacramento. First trip to the line for him here. And he makes the first. And he makes both nice. free throws. 19 seconds left in the first half. Here's Farrell. He's covered by Rondo. Pass to Barnes. Takes the 13-footer. That's good on the jump shot. Barnes has got his third basket of the night right there. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside. And okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed. Sacramento making a switch here. Bogdanovich is checked in. AI is checked in for the Lakers. And Stevenson though. comes in for LeBron. Can't win. The free throw off from Harris. A, a guy who tells it like it is. Harris isn't afraid to say what's on his mind, especially around his friends. Taking a look at the Lakers. Harris is out there with Lonzo Ball. Then it's AI. 
Then there's Kyle Kuzma, and it's Stevenson in at the three. AI kicks to Harris. Five on the clock. Back to AI. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Bagley with the bucket. Bagley's got eight points here in this quarter. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Here's Harris. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And while we have a chance, how about the numbers for Kuzma? Putting up about 18 points per, four assists, and four rebounds. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. His instincts naturally are to score the basketball. That ability to find the creases in the defense is something you just don't teach, and it's awesome. Giles checked in for Sacramento. Bialica comes in for Buddy Heal. Back to Farrell. The Lakers with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting oh, okay. to happen. That okay. shot a little beyond his normal range. Okay. Stevenson's got eight. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Okay. Here's Farrell. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. It's stolen by Harris. Right. And here's Kuzma. He has five. Rondo's shot is good. Better okay. outside when he gets into a rhythm or okay. when he gets his feet set. Rondo's smart at knowing when to fire. Okay. okay. Passes I it to Giles. It. I know it. Good enough. Now Bogdanovich. He's got eight to stop the run. I'm right there. And it's Giles. I'm right missing. there. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good ah. example of how valuable it can be. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Burks, he's checked in for Sacramento. The Lakers also making some changes. Ingram comes in for Lance Stevenson. And it's Kentavious Caldwell Pope in for Harris. Burks, the pass to Bagley. Outside Bogdanovich. Good on the three-point shot. Wow. 11 points in the game. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Rondo kicks to Ingram. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Ingram's got his third bucket of the night. And that bucket okay. adds to what has been a big difference and points in the paint between the two teams. Over to the left wing. Fades and shoots. And that one yes. comes up a bit short. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Dave Yeager in his third season with the Kings. Before that, nine seasons Brent in Memphis, with three of those being the Grizzlies head coach. An interesting end to uh, his time in Memphis as things just kind of went awry between him and management. But uh, the personnel yes. decisions is what it came down to. And uh, he has a fresh start in Sacramento with a very young, very energetic team that needs some direction. Maybe Dave Yeager, the guy to get the job done. Oh, oh my God. Caldwell Pope against Bogdanovich. Best shot. Best shot. Caldwell Pope Best with shot. a nice D. And defensively, moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. Some defenses are okay with giving up the mid-range shot. Man. In this case, I didn't call for ball, man. I didn't call for shooting it. Shooting foul. Passing. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Let's bring up the 2K leaderboard to show you the teams leading the league in assists this season. The Lakers, number one. The beauty of watching this team is seeing the ball move around the court. It doesn't stick. That's why they're at the top of that list. Brent, I'm sure there were times, and you've won two championships where you thought you were going to win a title, and it didn't happen. I'll go back to the first night that I thought 
potentially we were going to win a title with San Antonio. And that was in the 2005 finals against Detroit. We had come back home for a game six that I thought we were going to win, and we did not. And sort of the pressure that mounted after that game to know that we were going to a game seven and had lost an opportunity where we really did feel coming off a of game five we were going to win. It certainly elevated the intensity of the game seven, which we eventually won at home for our title in 2005. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. Yeah, I think coaches right here are always talking about the extra pass. And a contested okay, three you, is not your you. objective. One more, maybe. I feel you, man. Burks, the pass to Begley. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. You know, when Marvin Bagley entered the league, there were some questions as to which position would he play. But the versatility he brings is special. He can guard a number of positions, score inside and out, and he is a tremendous rebounder. 124 left to play here in the third. Here's Rondo. The pass to Kuzma. Plays it up and banks it in. Kuzma's got seven points in the game. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. And one thing you can't question about Bankley, Greg, his intensity level. As competitive as they come, uh, he's ferocious around the rim. Oftentimes, he looks like he wants to more you than anybody that? else on the floor. The defense cannot let guys get into that kind of comfort zone. You have to patrol the three-point line, or you risk getting burned. Here's AI. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. We've got a chance now to see how the starters and the bench match up scoring-wise tonight for the Lakers. And really, the points they've gotten from their reserves have been the story. These role players have come in ready for action and really have helped them storm to this big lead. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. Nice. Nice. Here's Bogdanovich. Nice. Off target nice. with his three. Right, let's go. Los Angeles with leading with by 13. Pulls it up. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Wow, huge sigh of relief for the defense on that possession. You cannot give mid-range shooters any space like that to operate. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And Ingram isn't just a sensational scorer. He can also dish the rock. And that was an Unleash Chaos replay, courtesy of Under Armour, wreaking havoc at the rim. Burks looking around. Outside Bogdanovich. Over Caldwell Pope. No, no, Fly. no. Right there. And so it's the Los right Angeles there. Lakers. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And don't go away. Thanks, we'll you know? be right back. I don't take that shot, man. You me? Good shot. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense yeah. with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. The Kings trail by 15. Bogdan Bogdanovich nope. is out there. Man, my house, man. Then there's nah. Harrison Barnes. Then it's nope. Bagley. And it's Bialica in at the four spot. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Nah, how are you, man? I'm right there. Here's Barnes. Chalk up two there. I admit that. Barnes has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter come here on, for Sacramento. Lakers leading by 13. No. LeBron with it. 
inside. And AI goes <laughs> down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Bagley with the bucket. Bagley's got 11 in the second half. And the dogged attitude of Bagley. When shots go up, he wants to be the first to pounce on misses. I need cold. Healed from outside. Nope. Gets it to go I from beyond the arc. I mean, and you're dead. asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Ball kicks to Ingram. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Heel. It's two on one. Bagley no. with a wide open look. Another three for Sacramento. And you can sense things now starting to tighten up. Their offense has become unstoppable. Right, big scoring run fueled by great game planning and really some great oh, shot making. Oh. Ball dishes to LeBron. Feeds it to AI. Back to LeBron. And it's blocked. And he gets it back. Wow, you missed that, man. Here's Barnes. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Not uh, his best game, but they're still me, getting it done day. collectively. Healed outside. Outside Bogdanovich. Lock at six. Launches it. And it's AI with the wow, rebound. AI's got eight rebounds in this game. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. Nice. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Solid elevation there. A, a consistent point of release and KCP with excellent shot mechanics. And Bogdanovich kicks to Barnes. Over Ingram. Nope. Nope. And best shot. Again, best shot. By Sacramento. Wow, come on. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. And stolen by Barnes. On the wing, heel. He's covered by Ball. Healed against Ball from past the arc. No, best shot. And out of bounds as the Lakers Good. gain possession. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Sunday, the Atlanta Hawks uh, come into town. That will tip off a homestand win. for them. Easy and win. then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And for the matchup with the Heat, there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches. And this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. <laughs> and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, there's a lot of talk, too, Brent, about the age requirement for entering the draft. And Commissioner ah. Silver has said it's a clear on, change that's probably on the way. What do you think the league should do? I you know, talk about a guy that you know quite well who in 1995 no. came out as 17 the 17-year-old. I know In it. the NBA draft, Kevin Garnett came into the league and handled himself extremely well. Now, for every one of those stories, we know there were other ones where guys did not make much of their NBA careers. But then here comes the G League. The G League, to me, wow. is the huge key. That's that the a equalizer. Lot, a lot of these guys have a ripcord now for some of those things that transpired Good over the course of the last 30 years where they can have a softer landing point to continue to develop, to continue oh, to oh, mature, going, and man? have an opportunity oh, to make something of their going? NBA career. Excellent explanation. Harris outside. He's looking for LeBron and finds him. To the inside. Here's AI. Good. Nice. And the assist goes to LeBron. And it's now 23 points for AI. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Stolen by ball. Nice. Put some defense. Okay, let's go, right? Floats it up for AI. Stop what kind of pass is that? Up the alley -oop attempt there. Stop. 
Go stop. Here's Farrell. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Well, he's also crafty with how he approaches it. Right there, he uses just the right move to lay it in. P.I. passes to James. Six to shoot. Here's Ball. Trains the three-pointer. Okay. Okay. And the Lakers lead by eight. I tell okay. you, it's unorthodox to watch, but Ball shoots the ball with tremendous rhythm and confidence from beyond. Barnes kicks to okay. Stein. Back to Barnes. No. Five Out of the active shooting gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Wow. And so Los Angeles takes the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. Ooh. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in much. the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And that about wraps much. it up for Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. Okay, See you later. Up. Hmm. Get out of here. Nice. Double double. It's cool. AI, there you are. I got an interview lined up for you. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, yeah. right this way. You're on with Shaq and Kenny. Oh, thanks, man. No one? The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And welcome back to the studio here on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Jet Smith in a moment to speak with our post game guest who's standing by on headset near the locker rooms. Hey, this is Shaq. You guys pulled out a nice win. Congratulations. What were you focusing on late in the game to protect that lead? Uh. Well, uh, Shaq, I think we did a good job as a team um, of just trying to play our game. You know, we don't force anything. We don't hold the ball too long. We don't make silly turnovers. Uh, that stuff is critical in a close game. When we set our minds to playing smart basketball, we position ourselves to come out with wins, like the one we just got tonight. I finally know what AI stands for. Animal instinct. Back to you, Ernie. And thanks for joining us this evening, folks. We've reached the end of our broadcast, sadly. For Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith, this is Ernie Johnson. Farewell and good night. Peace. Yeah, we did good, man. We did good. Thanks, man. See you. All right, guys, that's it, man. That's all I got right now. I'll see y'all later. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs>